Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Today is Monday and that literally means one thing. Today is the Taurus and Harry day. So you ready? Let's go. All right guys, so today we'll be masking text into our photos to give them a little bit more of that graphic design type of flair. So this is perfect, for example, if you want to print something, this is a great way to bring like a double page together. So a couple of steps, very simple, looks beautiful in my opinion. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So let me show you real quick how to do this and then I'm going to show you how to apply it for different types of photos. So that's the photo I decided to work with. First of all, we're going to start by creating a new layer. So we're going to come down here and click on the new layer icon. With our new layer, we're going to edit and select fill. Select white, that is very important, and click OK. New layer is applied, time to add our text. I'm going to add a couple of lines from a Pablo Neruda poem. I like to use all capitals because we need to actually fill up a lot of the space. So in my opinion, that's something very important, but if you want to play a little bit with your design, by all means, go for it and do it. So I'm going to write... So, now, the important steps, right? Make sure your text is relatively big. That is step number one. Step number two is that you make sure you're using bold. Right now, I'm, I'm using Futura, which is my favorite font at the moment, and I'm just crazy with it. So for this example, I'm using Futura bold at 100 points but again like you need to play with this because this is going to vary according to your document okay so the third very important thing is that you select your entire text and make sure that everything is aligned to the left or to the right like according to what you want always make sure you get black and white this is the combination you want you don't want different colors because it might not work the same so once we've got both layers we're going to select them and then just go ahead and click Command Option J. And pretty much what this does is it makes a copy of those layers. Okay, so with those layers, we're going to right click on them and we're going to click Merge Layers. Let's make uh, the previous two invisible. So at the moment, we only have two activated layers the background and the one we just created right now. All you have to do right now is go ahead and click the Blending Mode to Lighten. So this is pretty much ready. So I'm just going to click my command key and I'm going to drag it till I see half of it. And there you go. So the whole reason why we created a copy of those layers is because let's say for example, if you don't like the way this looks, let's say that you don't like all of this white space right here, for example, all we have to do is deselect that, make these ones visible again, and now we can edit them. We're going to grab them and press command G. So this is going to create a group. So now we can just go ahead and play with both of them together. Let's bring the opacity down to around, around 60% works fine with me. Let's bring this to around the middle. And now we can just change the size of our text. Let's bring the opacity down to 200%. Let's make a copy of those layers again. Let's merge them, deselect the previous two, lighten, and there you go. All right, so this is just an example, but in my opinion, it looks just way nicer when we use a portrait like this one, because it does look a little bit more in your face and dramatic, if you will. So let's give it a go. And there you go. This is, in my opinion, a very, very, very cool look. Again, this is something that you would use more in a graphic design type of work. But in my opinion, it's a very nice technique to have on your toolbox. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was a very simple technique, but in my opinion, sometimes like the most simple and the easiest techniques are the ones that help you stand out of the crowd and bring your stuff that extra level to make you look a little bit more professional. So if you like this video, do not hesitate to go bananas on that like button. Subscribe if you like this video because that would actually help this channel a lot. And thank you very much for watching though. I really hope you have a terrific week and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.